Whenever we are diagnosed with a disease, what's the first thing that we do? We turn towards Google to Google our symptoms and our diagnosis and we get all our information from there. So today, let's actually go to Google and see the most commonly asked questions about glaucoma on Google. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sujni Shroff. Glaucoma Consultant at Narayan Netralaya, Bangalore. So let's go with what's the first question asked about glaucoma on Google. The first one is, what is glaucoma? Glaucoma is mainly a disease of the optic nerve or the nerve to the eye, which is responsible for our vision. So there's something in our eye called an aqueous humor, which is fluid, which circulates within the eye. This is responsible for maintaining the intraocular pressure or the pressure within the eye. Just like how we have blood pressure in our body, which is very essential for normal functioning of the body, the intraocular pressure is essential for vision. So whenever there is a problem with the outflow or the passage of this fluid out of the eye, it can lead to glaucoma. Glaucoma can lead to irreversible blindness. The next question is, is glaucoma curable? Unfortunately, glaucoma is not curable. It can only be controlled, just like how diabetes and hypertension cannot be completely cured and we can only control it. It's the same with glaucoma. It can cause irreversible blindness in the long run. The third question is, can I go blind with glaucoma? Yes, nearly 15 to 20 percent of patients who suffer from glaucoma over the course of 15 years can go blind in at least one eye or sometimes in both eyes. This is why we recommend that you get your eyes routinely checked so that we can pick up this disease at an early stage. The next question is, who is at risk for developing glaucoma? If you're about the age of 40 years or if you have anyone in your family who has glaucoma, that is a family history of glaucoma. If your siblings, that means your brothers or sisters, your children or your parents have glaucoma, you're nearly 10 times more likely to develop glaucoma more than the general population. If you have diabetes or hypertension, if you've taken steroids in any form, especially steroids to the eye, any intraocular surgeries, any injury to your eye, you're more prone for glaucoma. Patients who have a very thick glass, a high minus or a high plus power, that's myopia or hypermetropia, you are more prone for developing glaucoma. One of the most common things that you will probably Google when you have a disease is, what are the signs and symptoms of glaucoma? Unfortunately, in the early stages, you will not have any problems with your vision or you'll be absolutely normal. But as the disease progresses, your vision will start decreasing from the side and will get restricted only to your central field. In the advanced or end stage disease, even this central part of your vision can be lost, leading to irreversible blindness. Some forms of glaucoma can also present with sudden redness, pain, headache, vomiting. You'll see rings around the light, which is called colored halos. And this is an acute emergency. Patients usually come running to the hospital holding their eye because there's so much in pain. And this is called an acute angle closure crisis. Now that you have glaucoma, one of the questions that patients do ask is, what are the treatment options available for glaucoma? There are three main treatment options for glaucoma. The first is medical management, second is a laser and the third is surgical. So going a little bit in detail about these three. Medical treatment, that is, you're given eye drops, which you have to use every single day for the rest of your life. So the most common advice that we give our patients is, even if you skip a meal, you cannot skip your eye drops because this is extremely essential so that your pressures are maintained at an optimal level for your eye and there's not a lot of fluctuation, which can lead to more nerve damage. The second option is lasers. Lasers are commonly done in a type of glaucoma, which is a primary angle closure glaucoma. It can also be done in open angle glaucoma. This is a non-invasive procedure. It's done in an OPD and it is virtually painless. So the third option is a surgical management. This is mainly reserved for those patients 
who were intolerant to medications or medication and laser did not work enough for them. They are still progressing despite the best treatment that we have given. The main surgical options are one is the trabeculectomy where a small window is created so that the fluid in the eye flows out and the pressure is reduced. The second is the tube surgery where an artificial tube is implanted into the eye and this creates a passage for fluid to flow out. The third is a minimally invasive glaucoma surgery and this is the latest in glaucoma surgery where a small implant or a small modification is done during cataract surgery which can lower the intraocular pressure especially for early glaucomas. The fourth is usually reserved for those patients who do not have any visual potential and this is a cyclodestructive procedure which are usually lasers. This is mainly done to reduce the pain in the eye. These were the most commonly asked questions about glaucoma on Google. If you have any further questions or you want help with managing your glaucoma better, please contact your nearest ophthalmologist so that you can save your sight because glaucoma is an irreversible blinding condition. Thank you.